Hello, my name is Arjun Karno. I'm a sophomore from the South Forsyth High School, and this is my submission into the 2015 Congressional App Challenge. My app is Electoral College History, or EC History for short. This is a unique mobile application developed for Android devices. The purpose of the app is to give users, namely students, an engaging and interesting way to view our country's political history and interact with it. And it does this in four main ways. Number one, it shows our country's full political history from the founding of our nation all the way up to, to the last election in 2012 in a visually pleasing format. Number two, it provides live updates of our country's presidential election on November 8th. Number three, it allows users to easily access more information if any candidate or election piques their interest. And number four, it features a fully interactive map so that users can personalize their own map and predict their own election and send this image to their parents, students, or teachers. This app, like many other apps, was developed after I noticed a problem amongst my peers and in the classroom. Many students would find it difficult to find a one-stop shop for our election history that wasn't cumbersome or just a bunch of tables and text. For this reason, I sought out to create Electoral College History. So I'd like to very briefly go over my app itself, and I'll be going through this by the four parameters I initially set up at the beginning of the video. So number one was showing the history of our electoral process. Uh, as you see here, we're in the historical maps menu. You can easily just scroll down either th uh, by clicking on the triangles or just scrolling, and I'll show you every single election in the history of our country. So you wanted to learn about the 1916 election. You could scroll down, see who won, who else ran, and how many votes they got. You can click on each party to uh, get some more information, uh, and so on. And, so, and you can recent the, recenter the map here. The second one was presenting a live update. Uh, to do that, you go to 2016 Actual, and while this is a simple prediction map as of yet, what it will do is on election night, November 8th, it will uh, display the results of which candidates win which states. Uh, number three was an interactive map. Um, if we go to My Predictions, you can simply click the Edit icon, you can say, what if Georgia went uh, Republican, and what if Texas went Democrat? And you can share this map uh, with your friends. And then last but not least, was a simple way for users to gather more information. I've already shown this, but you simply have to um, go to historical maps, you simply have to click, and it provides a host of web links so you can go and read more about a certain topic. In order to create electoral college history, I had to use the following tools. First and foremost is Android Studio, what you see in front of you right now. Android Studio is the primary Integrate Development Environment, or IDE for short, for Android devices. The two programming languages that I had to use were Java and XML. Java for the backend and the data processing, and XML for the graphical user interface. The two main programming challenges that I had to overcome in order to develop this app were dealing with map canvases and the canvas aspect of Java, as well as app efficiency. So number one, canvases. In order to get the interactive gesture control map that you saw in my app demonstration, I had to implement a feature of the Java language known as canvases, which I had never used before creating this app. And so I had to learn this from scratch, and I was able to implement a fully interactive map into Electoral College history. And then the second biggest problem was app efficiency. As you can see here, this app deals with a lot of data. And in order to make sure the app runs uh, really quickly and really snappy, I had to make my app as efficient as possible to avoid any potential slowdowns. So that was my video for the 2015 Congressional App Challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.